Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Sooner 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grober Games. We're in the month of August now. Last month we got all our winter winter barley harvested. And we got a bunch of contracts done. And it looks like kind of taking a look out back here. Our sorghum's ready to go now, so we're gonna get to that today. Uh, so one of the things I'm gonna say right away that I notice Let's hop into the class here. Is that I messed up. So with that whole new crop sis sensor system and everything, with this whole precision DLC, I thought it was just like an automatic turn on type situation. Like if you have it equipped, it's gonna start sensing for you already and everything. And it turns out I made a mistake. And that's not the case. And I, f I feel kind of dumb now. So we've been using the crop sensor wrongly. We actually haven't been using it at all. It's been basically a fancy hood ornament. And I'll kind of show you here quick. Because I figured that to turn it on, it would just be like the normal on key for everything else. But that is not the case here, so if you like go into the menu, give it a second here to register that I'm on controller. You actually have to hold L1 and R1 to turn it on, so that explains why we haven't gotten any of our points for nitrogen. Which is unfortunate for us, but it's a live and learn experience, so but we're gonna We're gonna hop into our cup. We're gonna hop into our harvest here shortly. I'm gonna get all these eggs put away here quick. And the other thing too is that our sheep have finally had babies. So both, so our one barn here is, oh, it's almost to max capacity again. And then if we go over here, this one, it's about half full, I think it was. I think it was a 60 head barn. Let's go to the livestock here. But as you can see, we have a bunch more sheep now. So we're gonna keep ha hanging on to these sheep. Um, when we start reproducing again, I think I'm gonna pull some from this barn shortly before they have children. So that way we can fill this barn up and fill this one up a little bit faster. And that's one of the other things we got to get done too is getting all our wool hauled on down to the to the spinnery so we can keep get that going. But first, we're gonna we're gonna get started here. We're gonna take the spray our new sprayer off, <clears throat> and I think I think it, it's the time about the time frame for us to start planting for oh. Let's see here. For winter barley, ain't it? Yeah, so we... Well, no, we, we gotta wait till next month, so... We might... I think where the sorghum's at, we might... Might do that in winter barley this year. This year. Because we're actually sitting on enough feed for our chickens that I don't think we'll have to really worry about doing as many fields. So I was thinking that... If we get enough money saved, we might invest into our first row crop planter and actually start doing some row crops and pick up a row crop header as well for the combine. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might change. For all we know, we I might just change my mind again and go instead go with another field, which honestly. It's probably what we should really do, more or less. And I think the plan is, after we get the sorghum harvested, if we have time, we might pick up a contract, but I know the one thing that I've been putting off is that we need to go around our border, the borders of our fields and get, get all the grass mowed and baled, so that way we, we can feed all our sheep in a timely manner and make sure we don't get behind on grass for them, so we're gonna start cutting into here. 
So it's... I'm just a little upset with myself about that whole crop sensor thing. But like I said, it's a... It's a live and learn experience type thing right now. You know? Maybe. Well, that's probably not gonna work. So I was thinking. Uh, just a second here. Sorry, I had, had to clear my throat there. I was starting to cough pretty good. Maybe we'll wait. We'll probably plant this. Oh. We'll probably plant this in our winter barley. Or maybe we'll leave this for as a bean field next year. Or for a row crop field if we go that route. And we'll just plant the two be current bean fields we have now into winter. Winter barley. And then we'll leave the other two fields sit this year. And we'll... We'll figure... We'll figure out this winter for sure or not if we're going to go with a picking up a planter or not. There's a nice nice little six row one I was looking at. That cost about oh, I think it was about 20 to 30 grand. Now we we might pick up and go that go that route with with our first row crop planter. Nothing overly fancy. And then we will Oh, and then we could always pick up the, the row crop header closer to the time we need it. I kind of wonder wonder if it there would be a better option for a row crop header as well. I mean, the only one we can really buy is like the game's basic one. I can't remember. I think it's called like Zeigler or something like that. That we could pick up for this combine, but we'll see. I'm always changing my mind, it seems, anymore. And with with this Precision DLC, it I think we got everything we want to start out with for our Precision precision side. Like I said, the the whole crop sensor thing has me a little bit irked right, irking right now, but that's, that's also more or less my fault, just jumping in and assuming too much. It looks like this sorghum is yielding pretty good already for this field. And I kind of and I'm kind of curious like when we do contracts if we op activate that crop sensor I wonder if it's gonna work how it should or if it's just kind of like oh oh if it's just gonna be like you basically doing the same thing before the precision DLC came out I'm pretty sure it'll act like the like before when the precision before the per, the precision DLC came out just cuz I feel like it, it take quite a bit of programming to do that because I know I know the one thing is with like the whole spraying for weeds thing I feel like you should benefit from that if especially if you're Investing into the oh, into the sprayer to have all that technology. If you're going out, to, going out to do custom spraying for for contracts, so to speak. I feel like I understand that they don't want you to benefit too much, but at least benefit a little for investing in such a big purchase. In my eyes, we're just gonna go around this way. It'll be a little easier. But that's just me and my thought process. Doesn't mean I'm right or wrong. It's just how I feel. But we're gonna... We are definitely gonna harvest this field today and then we're gonna... We might pick up a few cot... We're gonna get the some grass baled today and then we might pick up a few contracts later on. So we'll jump into the time lapse here and we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping it up for today. Um, it's probably the only episode I'll be recording today. I've been, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm a little under the weather. I, the allergy seasons is really kicking my butt right now, so I'm going to take a break here. But I'm going to, in the meantime, I'm going to get all the bales moved home and put away. And one thing I don't know if you noticed, if you were looking at the time lapse when we were spraying that field, there were a few spots out there that didn't have weeds, so you could actually see all the nozzles, like, turn on and off, which was really cool. And just the fact that when we when we were going up that field from there for that contract, oh, that the nozzles were automatically shut off for areas we've already went over. So I, I think that sprayer is going to be a great investment in the long run, even though we probably should be invested into more land, but I think... I think this series is going to be more, since the precision is out, it's going to be more focused on trying to maximize our environmental score here. So I'm thinking, I got a, like I said, I got a six row planner in mind that, that has no till capability. So we might, we might actually think about sun off our, our disc carol here too, for when next season rolls around. But We'll see what happens. Like I said, we're, I'm constantly changing my mind. I never know what I want to do for sure from episode to episode, for season to season or whatnot. So, but if you guys enjoyed the episode today, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.